Eight Southwest has canceled more than 13,000 flights in the past week, including more than 2,500 just today. Passengers forced to sleep at airports, luggage scattered from city to city. I wasn't anticipating a nightmare, but it became a nightmare. It did. In Chicago and around the country, mountains of luggage with no travelers to claim them. I'm like, I want to cry. I'm tired. Frustrated, tired. Um, pissed off. This has clearly crossed the line from what's an uncontrollable weather situation to something that is the airline's direct responsibility. The Southwest Pilots Union says the airline bears responsibility for using an old system that caused backups in employee scheduling. It is outdated processes from the 90s that uh, that can't keep up with, with our network of today. And it's not as if Southwest has not had the money to make system upgrades. As the headline notes, Southwest Airlines spent $5.6 billion on shareholder gifts in years ahead of mass cancellation crisis. According to Accountable U.S., the airline opted to spend $5.6 billion on stock buybacks in the three years leading up to the pandemic rather than making investments in infrastructure to be better prepared for extreme weather events like this week. The watchdog group added that the company even reinstated dividends earlier this month, the first major airline to do so after the pandemic. It canceled more than 2,600 flights yesterday. That's two-thirds of its scheduled routes. By comparison, Delta, United, American, and JetBlue had fewer than 200 cancellations combined yesterday after frigid weather hit air travel hard over the Christmas weekend. Quote, Southwest Airlines made a risky gamble that mass layoffs and spending billions of dollars on handouts to investors rather than fixing infrastructure would pay off with record profits. Kyle Herrig, the president of Accountable U.S., said in a statement, the airline lost that bet badly, and now it's their customers left paying the price including the thousands stranded in the middle of holiday season travel. Meltdown is the right word. This is an unacceptable situation. You look at the number of passengers who are stranded. Uh, you look at how hard it is even to get somebody on the phone to address it. Uh, from what I can tell, Southwest is unable to locate even where their own crews are, let alone their own passengers, let alone baggage. I'm truly sorry. This morning, I'm Mea Culpa from the CEO of Southwest Airlines. Our plan for the next few days is to fly a reduced schedule and reposition our people and planes, and we're making headway. But that's too late for the countless Southwest passengers who have already had their holidays ruined. It's just been chaos. Everything's canceled, and no, we can't get through the Southwest. Multiple cancellations, you know, a night in the airport, a night, a Christmas Eve in a random hotel. But it didn't have to be so random, and the decision by Southwest the past few years to invest on stock buybacks instead of airline infrastructure was deliberate. In the U.S. Congress, there are bipartisan proposals to regulate corporate stock buybacks and give companies new incentives to invest in infrastructure instead of padding stock and executive profits. But these proposals for now are not going anywhere, thanks in part to heavy corporate lobbying against them. The irony is that Southwest is known for excellent customer service and trying to do right by its passengers. In this debacle, Southwest says it will pay for all travel changes and hotel costs of passengers who are stuck. Still, in a society where corporate greed dominates, even a well-liked company such as Southwest cannot seem to resist padding short-term stock profits and gambling against any storm that might expose infrastructure vulnerabilities. This holiday season, Southwest got burned. I'm sure there are Southwest executives and leaders who are genuinely embarrassed and horrified by this holiday travel mess, but the real horror is that the incentive to boost short-term profits still exists. And the mess that Southwest has found itself in will undoubtedly be repeated in other industries where investor and management greed continues to reign supreme. Consumers should never be left holding the bag, but right now, a lot of Southwest passengers can't even find theirs. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.